I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Risa's Moment in History, and I'm standing on the original street level of downtown Port Huron. Now in the early years of the city of Port Huron, the downtown area was always faced with the threat of flooding due to the close proximity of the Black River. As ice began to melt in the spring, water levels would rise to the point of overbreaching the riverbanks, spilling water into the streets of Port Huron. So as discussions were underway in 1888 as to what to do with the large amount of dirt and clay that was going to be removed from the building of the St. Clair Rail Tunnel in Port Huron, Mayor James Melwin and City Council had an idea. The plan was to raise the streets in Port Huron six to eight feet by using the fill dirt from the tunnel. It wouldn't be cheap, but hopefully would solve the problem of the yearly flooding. The goal was to raise the grade as far north as Quay and as south as Pine. Truckloads and truckloads of soil, clay and debris were brought into the water's edge and spread north and southward. An 1892 Daily Times report made mention of the removal of smaller buildings that would not be able to sustain the process. Over 14 smaller buildings were raised and used as landfill as part of the project. In the 1990s, the City of Port Huron began the process of improving the look of downtown as part of the Streetscape Improvement Program. During this process, it was discovered that over the last hundred years, organic material had been used as landfill began to decay, leaving large sinkholes in the downtown pavement. Most likely these sinkholes were the result of the raised buildings since those sinkholes contained safes, sinks, pencil phones and spittoons, and other reminders of a poor Huron past. For Moment in History Extra, I am Chris Troy, reminding you all that history that lives in all of us.